Hey, Kermit Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight, and uh, we've got a big election coming up. And I'm reflecting on four years ago, uh, had a kind of an interesting little deal. And I want to explain uh, basically to everyone that the whole Fantasy of Flight concept is the fact that each of us sees reality from our own limited perspective, but we each have the potential within to go beyond what we perceive ourselves to be. So four years ago, there was a fairly contentious election going on. And uh, for our uh, non-US uh, uh, viewers here, I want to explain we have a two-party system over here. We have Democrats and Republicans. The Republicans are basically take the red color, Democrats take the blue. The Republicans use an elephant as a uh, some kind of a symbol. I don't know where these came from. And the Democrats use a donkey. So you'll see a little bit of that in the video here. So I felt that what I wanted to do was I wanted to come up with a little bit of a campaign. And of course, I've got uh, Austin the Ostrich here. He's my main uh, Fantasy of Flight character. I wrote a children's book called Austin the Ostrich and Fantasy of Flight. And it's really about what Fantasy of Flight's about, which is not airplanes. It's about discovering and basically uh, unleashing that potential that we all have within ourselves. And when we do that, we go beyond our perceived limitations. So I came up with an idea, and I went up to Washington, D.C. when uh, Congress was in session prior to the election, and I basically, I autographed 565 books, okay? And I gave them out to a hundred senators, U.S. senators. Uh, we have a Senate, we have a House of Representatives, and I signed 435 books for the House of Representatives, and I mailed uh, a little bit less than 30 to the executive branch, which was the president, the vice president, all the major candidates that were running at the time. And uh, basically, the campaign was based on the premise that we have uh, the Democrats, they call themselves the left wing, we have the Republicans, where they call themselves the right wing, and basically the concept was, it takes two wings to fly. And that's basically what it was. So sit back and enjoy my trip to Washington. I went all by myself, me and my little buddy Austin, and uh, we had a pretty good time. It was a little bit exhaustive, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, and I tell you what, when Washington finally gets its act together, they all come together, Austin and I here, we're going to take credit for it. Over and out. Welcome, and thank you all for coming. My name is Kermit Weeks, and I'm here to share with you a way we can all make a difference in this very political election year. But first, I need to introduce you to an inspiring story of change about Austin the Ostrich and the fantasy of flight. The story begins in a beautiful land, quite similar to America, where we quickly find an ostrich named Austin with his head in the sand. At some point, Austin views himself from an objective perspective, a spark lights within, and he launches off on a journey of self-discovery, going beyond what he perceives himself to be. Austin's change has had an amazing effect on how he now approaches life, and he wants to share his experience and his message with the world. We feel in this election year, there is no better place to begin spreading this profound message of change, pulling our heads out of the sand, and seeing ourselves from an objective perspective than Washington, D.C. And I know what you probably are all thinking. How open and receptive will Washington be to accepting and receiving this profound message from an ostrich? Well, we feel just because Austin looks different doesn't mean he can't make a difference. We all need to stop focusing on what our differences are and begin to start focusing on what we all share in common. And we believe there is plenty of common ground between Washington and ostriches. 
And because we believe so strongly in this message of getting our heads out of the sand, viewing ourselves and others objectively, we have decided to launch a new campaign called Austin for America. Support sending Austin and myself to Washington, D.C. to deliver this message. I just uh, made a quick stop for fuel and a quick lunch in Brunswick, Georgia, making great time. And I got an email from uh, Wesley Shaw. He's the press secretary for my airplane congressman friend from Missouri, Sam Graves. And they just sent out the letter that I basically tweaked yesterday to everybody in the House of Representatives. And the one for the Senate is going to go out Monday. Pretty freaking cool. This is really good and exciting. Uh, not Austin, let's go. Let's check and make sure this is okay. Yeah, so we were driving up. We had to make a fuel stop and it was south of the border here. And I heard there was the potential of maybe a wall going up. I wanted to make sure that Austin could get in. And uh, we're just south of the uh, North Carolina border. And I got to go check passport control to make sure it's okay. Yeah, so Austin's always helping out. He always wanted to fuel the car, and we got there that evening, and uh, he actually picked up the tab. Yeah, so here we are cruising along. I am pulling into Norfolk, Virginia, and uh, I got a hotel here, so I'm going to stop here, uh, dump my bags off, to check in, make sure I got the room and everything. So I see Washington on the horizon, the Capitol. There's the Washington Monument, Jefferson Memorial. We're looking at the Potomac down there. Pretty cool. What do you think, Austin? He's excited. It's kind of laid back right now, but anyway. Mr. Smith goes to Washington, part two. All right, Austin and I are in Washington, D.C. We're checking it out. We're gonna go out to the Capitol and see uh, what's happening. I have no idea. Can you believe I'm walking around Washington, D.C. with an ostrich strap to my backpack? Anyway, here we go. We're off. Okay, I'm staying at uh, probably the coolest, uh, closest hotel, the Hyatt here, Capitol Hill. We are checking out Washington, D.C. I actually used to live up around this area when I was a kid, probably from fifth grade through eighth grade. But we lived outside of D.C. But uh, anyway. Check it out. We're here on the mall. There's the, uh, there's the Washington Monument down there. And guess what I have behind me? Check it out. That's right, we got the Capitol. Pretty cool. Anyway, over on uh, this building over here, I think, is where the Senate is. And uh, this building over here is where the House of Representatives are. So hopefully tomorrow I'm going to hook up with uh, my congressman friend. We're going to drop off at least 13 or 14 cases of books and uh, go from there. Beautiful day. Oh my god, I can't believe what's happening. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm walking around Washington with a stuffed ostrich on my shoulder. Besides, we just talked to a nice uh, policeman over there and he confirmed the fact that this is all the uh, this is all for the house over here. This one's all for the Senate. There's like a little south entry over there that uh, is probably where I'm going to unload the books and I'm sure they're going to sweep it. I said, oh, for sure. So anyway, pretty cool. Sounds like I got a big concert over here somewhere. Oh, you're not going to believe it. I hear all this music and I come over to uh, see what's going on. Are you ready for this? It's a gay pride concert. Amazing.
left the Gay Pride Festival. And uh, I'm walking along and I thought, what a great opportunity. Somebody dropped a little frickin' scarf. I don't know what the hell it was for, but uh, Austin picked it up and I don't think he realizes the significance of it. <laughs> I'll tell him later. Okay, so Austin and I are trying to figure out where to eat, you know. Of course, you got the left wing and the right wing. Well, it looks like we got the West Wing Cafe to eat here. <laughs> Okay, so here I am. It's like noon on uh, Monday the 13th. I'm in Washington, D.C. I'm double parked here. And behind me uh, is the building where my friend's at, I think Longworth. These are the, the buildings, actually. I thought they were connected to the Capitol, but the Capitol, you can actually see it, is up there. So it's actually across the street from Independence. So anyway, and then I'll cross the Constitution by my hotel is where the Senate is. Okay, so this is basically the, uh, the government here in Washington, D.C. And uh, the Capitol is in the middle, the little white circle. And to the north there, you can actually see that's where the, the Senate actually meets, holds session. And the two buildings in the upper right is where the Senate offices are. Now to the south of the Capitol is where the House of Representatives meet. And the three buildings below here is where the House of Representatives offices are. And I'm going to end up going to basically the Longworth building and meet with my friend and drop all these books off and base out of there. So I'm sitting here waiting for some of the, the interns to come down from Sam Graves' office to uh, be able to unload all this crap. So anyway, it's going to be kind of interesting. My friends saved this parking spot for me, even though I am double parked. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Nick? Yes. Awesome. Good. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nice, nice to, to see you, young man. faces. All right, yeah, Kermit. Y'all look like a bunch calling. of Mormon uh, missionaries. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. So what's the plan? Tell me what to do. What do you want to do? Wheel her up into the Capitol. And oh my God, storm, okay. Storm, All righty, okay, good, good, good. Well, you guys are strong guys. So I tell you what, what we probably want to do is set the light ones aside and start with the heavy ones, Staff. which are the books. Russell stays. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we got the... Alright, we got one more to go, bro. Oh my god, I can't believe I made those kids do that. Uh, there goes some of the Austin fins. So much for national security. Okay, so here we go, heading back to the hotel. And uh, then I guess I'm going to walk over. Oh my god. It's not a job, it's an adventure. So here we go. We're leaving the hotel. We're heading up to go see Sam with the Austin. See what happens. Okay, so here we are walking along. Got Capitol on the left. We're coming up to the uh, Longworth building, which is where my buddy Sam is in right here. So we'll check that out. So here's the Longworth building down here. And my hotel is about a quarter of a mile up there to the north. There I am. Yeah, so here I am at my friend Sam Graves' office. He's a big airplane enthusiast. Some of the kids there that helped me uh, bring the books up the day before. I've got the website up. See the books back on the couch there. And I'm, all of those are basically for the House of Representatives. The Senate ones are back at my hotel. They're on the north side. Hi, I'm Congressman Sam Graves from the state of Missouri, and I support this message. So Austin and I just uh, saw my friend, and uh, we got it all set up. We're going to be ready to rock and roll here tomorrow. They open at 8.30. All right, so here we go. Day one. Day one of our grand adventure. Oh, you guys, just take everyone to All righty. Come on, we 
first building, first uh, stop. Okay, Austin and I just did our first deal, went pretty good, dropped off a book, a couple of buttons, and a bicycle deal for the staff. Anyway, so it went pretty good. I think the people are, the Congress people are like in session for like four days a week, you know, so I'm probably not going to see very many of them. But anyway, so we're going to start passing out books and we'll see where it goes. I got everything done on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh floor. Oh my God, let me tell you, that was, I took it out of me a little bit. <laughs> okay, here we go, day two. In and out books, oh my god. I was so sore from yesterday. We shall see what uh, we have in store for today. Uh, it's about a mile from the hotel to the Longworth building. I just saw where the Russell and the Dirksen buildings were. That's where the uh, center is. So anyway, we're getting there. Heading into the Longworth building. For day number two, sign in books. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, basically, I uh, started with the Cannon Building today. I finished up everything in the Longworth building and uh, starting to make some pretty good progress. Uh, the Longworth building over here, it had seven floors, oh my god. Uh, anyway, that was a, a long deal. And uh, anyway, so there's the Capitol over there and Austin and I are heading to the bar. Oh my god, I tell you what man, just schlepping these books around is, uh, I'm not saying I'm an old man, but pushing 63. It's been some great exercise, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we're coming back to the Hyatt. It's been another long day. We're going straight to the bar. <laughs> Thursday and uh, we're off again another day I'm trying to beat the rain out there's a uh, bunch of rain coming there we go it's happening my man <laughs> all righty we're out of here it's not raining but anyway so today I'm gonna try and finish uh, hopefully the cannon house and start working on the next one Ooh, I'm feeling sprinkles um, I think Rayburn is the last one. It's supposed to be kind of hard to get around in, so anyway, we'll figure it out. Okay, here I am about two-thirds through my mile walk every day, going by the Capitol. It's uh, starting to drizzle, and I can see the rain coming across Washington, so I'm just going to make it. Anyway, that's the Rayburn building that I'm going to maybe tomorrow. I might start that today. We'll see. Um, they're telling me the elevators, some of them don't go to the different floors or something. It's supposed to be a pain in the butt. It's a long way building. And here we go again. Another day. It's 
It's the end of Thursday. I'm freaking ripped. Oh my god. I got done all the way with uh, the Cannon building and uh, the uh, Longworth building that I'm in. And tomorrow I hit the Rayburn building. And unfortunately, I thought it was like making great progress. There's five boxes of books in the uh, Rayburn building. Anyway, I'm not out there. I just want to walk down here and see. Where we're going to be working tomorrow. Oh my god, this freaking building is giant. No wonder it's so big. It's got two freaking wings to it. Oh my god, I had no idea. Check this out. Oh my god, I had no idea. Spirit of Justice. Ministry of Law. Oh my god. This is why it's going to take five cases of books. Anyway, over and out. Okay, Austin and I are heading back to the Hyatt here, and we are heading to the bar. There's the Hyatt. Alrighty. supposed to be raining this morning so I'm happy about that. Uh heading to the Rayburn building. Hey gang, what's happening? <laughs> anyway. Heading out from the Hyatt. And uh oh it's cool this morning. This is nice. Okay so here we are at the Rayburn building. This should be interesting. I just finished floor three in the Rayburn building. This is my last one right here. And I gave that one out. And you cannot believe how big this place is. Check out that hallway. Look at all that way down there. And that's where all the people are. Anyway, I'm a rip. All right, just walking my mile back to the Hyatt. And there we are right here. Anyway, I'm going straight to the bar. There's the Hyatt. And there's the bar. Oh my god. Hang in there, Austin. We're gonna get something pretty soon. Over and out. Okay, here we go. It's Monday morning, June 20th. I'm going to finish the House of Representatives today. It's a really nice day. I'm going to maybe start with the Senate. That's a great shot of the Longworth building right there. That's the Rayburn building down there. And that is the Cannon building. So, Cannon, Longworth, Rayburn. Okay, here we go. The last floor, Rayburn building. All right, so here I am. This was the last office in the House of Representatives. Oh my God. Anyway, so 435 books so far. I'm headed over to the Senate. Had a good uh, reception, I think, from everybody. Um, all the executive branch books, I didn't quite know how to get there, uh, how they're going to get them, but basically, uh, the, they're going to get some addresses sorted out. They got a UPS 
staying in the basement of the Longworth building, so I'm going to go down there and uh, ship all those out so I don't have to go schlep them because they're in all different buildings everywhere. Department of the Interior, Department of Defense, Department of the Treasury, they're everywhere. So anyway, uh, we're going to get that sorted out and then uh, send it and that's it. Alright, so this is the Russell building behind me and uh, we got that one all all done. That was pretty good. So uh, a little bit more uh, tomorrow morning and I'm all done. Pretty cool. Alright, here we are back at the hot. Guess where we're headed? To the bar. Alrighty, here we are. Okay, I think today's the last day. It's uh, Tuesday, June 21st. I've got my stash ready to rock and roll. 65 books left to give out. This is where we're headed. Yesterday I did the Russell Building. My hotel's over here. Uh, so I gotta go up. That looks like it might be an entrance there, ADA, so that means I can get the books up a ramp. Yesterday I had to pull them up some stairs or down. Anyway, so I'm gonna do the Dirksen. The Hart Building, and I'm done. Uh, 65 centered offices, and I'm heading out the door. That's the Capitol in the background. I'm heading off to uh, Hart and Dirksen over this way. Okay, that's the northeast corner of the Russell Building, and this must be Hart right here. I walk, kick my butt this hot. I'm sweating like a dog. Leaving the capital for the last time. Oh my God, what a journey. It's drizzling, but uh, there's a little break in the deal. And if I don't get my ass in gear, I'm gonna be totally soaked because there's more rain over there. Anyway, it's been a fun journey. <laughs> Goodbye, capital. Hello, bar. My empty car says it all. Back at the Hyatt. We're gonna go get some champagne and celebrate. All right, here we are in front of the Capitol. Last time, we're out of here. The end of a journey that started 10 days ago. Awesome, man, appreciate it. Oh my God, I can't wait to get out of Washington, D.C. <laughs> this is not my energy. Thank God they love to do what they love to do, and I love to do what I love to do, so anyway. Alrighty, Austin, we're out of here. My little buddy. We had a very successful trip. Yeah, Potomac River. Goodbye, Washington. Everyone wants change, and that's what this campaign is all about. So always remember, when you change yourself, you change the world. Thank you. Thank you.
So remember, it takes two wings to fly, and if you only try and fly with one wing, you will only end up going around in circles.